started with this, then we, we come up with some more information and, and second guess it. We can, you can always back away from, from it. I simply need authorization to get started on the process. Any further discussion? And what I know once we, we authorize you to go ahead to start the process, um, we also have to go before, this, we also have to submit this to the town council. At what point would it ever come to referendum? Uh, to go through the state process, you don't go to referendum until after school board approval. And that's, uh, let's say they came out with a rating um, that's about 15 month uh, lag time from April to over a year. That would be going to the state approval in the year July 1990. In the meantime, that would be the fastest possible trend. Which we are looking at possibly two years down the line before you, you could start construction. What do we do for preventive maintenance at this point in time? Well, that's a very good question. I'm wrestling with heat right now. We had some leaks. We have you know, a whole bunch of problems. Um, we're Can't going to continue to have to spend some money to keep going. I'm sorry. We need to hear you. Oh. <coughs> okay. Um, the preventive maintenance, well, I don't, I don't know if we want to call it preventive maintenance, but or I mean, just, just sort of, you know, use of space maintenance, will be in the same mode we're in right now. Um, and I know people have mentioned some safety issues, which uh, I certainly am concerned about, as I know you are. Um, we're not the only um, school group going to school in, in bad buildings or old buildings, and most of our issues we can we can patch together the heating system, which I'm particularly concerned about, and, and see problems with. Um, frankly, the engineers have already told us we can patch together what we have for a while. It was one of the things that came out in the space study. We, we wondered whether you really had to replace them, but it is going to cost us money. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to try not to put, I have to put another roof on just to make sure that we keep things from being out of control, but um, I, I can't answer that question, absolutely. because we may have a different audience than has heard this before, uh, one of the cuts that did not occur at the state level um, when the budget was cut was there were no reductions in funds for new building uh, of schools because the state in their wisdom realized that with the interest rates at the lowest it's been since I think 1964 and also the availability of labor uh, and materials right now, it's a very appropriate time to be building. I just want to uh, re to reemphasize that um, it is a dilemma. I understand that. Um, I think most of us would just love to get started and, and solve the problem, but we have all kinds of related uh, issues to think about. Um, I was uh, looking for advice from the state construction, uh, the gentleman in charge of that division, and uh, somewhat tentative about it myself. Uh, he's told me without any equivocation we should apply, that we have enough need that we may in fact be surprised at how we're rated. So he doesn't begin to rate as he looks. He's simply saying, I'm simply saying, should we bother? And he says yes. So frankly, that's the advice I'm giving you. Beyond uh, Jan's intriguing question, uh, I really want to just re endorse what Rosemary said. Uh, this is a tremendous time to take advantage of excess capacity in the building business. And that capacity is either going to disappear in the next few years, or if you're an optimist and our economy begins to bounce back, it's not going to be excess capacity anymore. So. If you put together the potential savings from uh, borrowing at extremely low historical interest rates and uh, taking advantage of that excess capacity, you probably do have a very, very good argument for going ahead with this program without any state aid. But I think that's something the Finance Committee is meeting tomorrow morning uh, to uh, begin to look into this type of issue. But uh, it certainly is something that we have to look at very, very carefully. Uh, 
one other point is that uh, initiating the application to the state I don't think precludes us from pursuing funding the building process as a city or as a town on our own. But you wouldn't go out if you were if you were seriously pursuing the state process. I don't believe. I mean, I'd have to research this, but I don't believe that you would be going out to referendum. Uh, it certainly nothing precludes you from going out and examining the possibilities, talking to people about the needs, saying we're th considering this, we're considering that, and continuing to work out exactly what the state formula might kick back. Um, that's not absolutely clear either, uh, because we have mostly renovation, again, depending on, you know, with the, with the new construction, that, that, that's an interesting angle to all this. You get more money for the new construction you do with renovation. On the other hand, would they, you know, we then have to negotiate with the fact that we were actually replacing square footage we have and going for construction. Um, and, you know, until you really get into that uh, sitting down negotiating process, they won't give you any answers as to whether or not they will fly or not. All they'll do is say, you have the need. That's what they start with. For instance, our cafeteria in the middle school is below grade, which is, gets you so many points. We've got all kinds of issues that will give us points. And I can show you, the, you know, I'll show the building, I mean, the uh, finance committee, the little form that they use and so on. But it's, um, believe me, it's a long and complicated process. It'd be nice not to have to go through it, but I really feel I have an obligation to obviously pursue everything. Um, I, I really would suggest, though, that we go ahead and talk to the public and do whatever we can to get people who are not in the schools now in to see the schools. I don't know if we have an open house or open invitation to come in and, and see what's going on, but I know there are a lot of people out there who haven't been in the schools who still don't know really how bad they are. So we really need to start working, no matter what process we use, on, on uh, getting people to understand that firsthand, how bad they are. I would like to invite all the uh, people watching to the girls' middle school basketball game, and I will be happy to provide a tour. Uh, Nancy, is it Monday and Thursday of next week? There are two girls' home games, and if you go, if you go to the game, I'll be happy to take you for a tour of the middle school. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> We've moved, seconded, and further discuss. Uh, I guess we'll now we vote. All in favor? The, the, the last thing we have to do is we have to vote on the trusses. Yes, and I, and I very much didn't bring it with me. Uh, I have discussed this with some of you. Um, at our last meeting, I had told you that I had been informed just before the meeting started that we had some other inquiries, and I felt that they, I needed to um, inform you of that and to say I would look into it. I've done that, talked to Mr. Jackson, um, talked to uh, Dee LaBelle, uh, and furthermore, we also received a letter from Wood Trust Associates, uh, who in the course of all of this had been asked to look at those trusses and to see if they were in fact saleable at their, in their current condition. The letter indicates that their advice is not to consider them saleable as trusses. Um, we, in my conversation with uh, Mr. Jackson, he feels that they might, as a contractor, he says they may have, you know, some real useful life for somebody, but at the same time, um, I shared with him that that letter had come in and that, to, in my mind, I couldn't advise you to proceed trying to find a, um, a buyer uh, if the people who made them or the wood uh, structure company is telling us that they no longer have the structural integrity. So uh, my advice to you is to go back to the original proposal I made, which is that uh, we uh, authorize Mr. Jackson to head up a team to um, do some cutting up. I think we also talked about the possibility of some of that lumber being used for school projects but to be used for school projects and for the community service projects, such as what he was talking about. He did tell me he had had some complication raised since our initial conversation. Uh, the, the hope of putting up a um, Little League shelter uh, or a shelter near the ice hockey pond, I think was the original uh, discussion. Um, he was 
there was some concern about whether that was wetlands and whether whether just exactly how that would would play out. And he wanted to let us know. But I think it would, I would be very comfortable with board authorizing the superintendent to um, uh, work with Mr. Jackson and uh, internal school people to um, dispose of. By the way, the letter from the Wood Trust people also advises we had a liability hazard with those in that area, um, which I think was not news to us. And that the um, that if we uh, consider that as his um, his project as outlined to you. Uh, also, he and I talked to you, would be ha perfectly happy to share uh, some of the usable lumber that comes out of that with the school building for any of our, our internal uses, if they could be used in a shop class or something of that sort. Okay, do I hear a motion to authorize the superintendent to work with Jerry Jackson? Second? Second. Further discussion? All in favor? Uh, the school. Quickly, uh, he should do something about them, I think. Um, okay, the school board meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming.